Hello, welcome to Grill and Smoke Barbecue. My name is Jeffrey. We all know what it is. It's that time of year again when them people start throwing those footballs. So it's time to eat some more of that football related food. So what I'm gonna do for you today, we're gonna have ourselves some grilled buffalo wings. Depending on where you're from, some people might just say hot wings, but we're gonna do that and we're gonna make it happen now. Let's do it. All right, so, you know, let's get ready to get into this cook. Let's show what the uh, ingredients are gonna be. So for the rub, I'm gonna be using the uh, Meat Church's Honey Hog. It's, it's good on chicken, don't worry about it. Uh, for my binder, I'm gonna be using some just some canola oil spray. For the spritz, I'm gonna be using my spray butter, as y'all know I love to use. Today, I'm gonna be trying out something I haven't tried yet. I'm a big fan of Sweet Baby Ray's. So they have their buffalo wing sauce. So we're gonna try that to make these buffalo wings. And also, Chef, Chef's Temp sent me a thermometer they want me to try out. It is the uh, Pocket Pro. So, I have a Chef's Temp thermometer that I use. You probably see it all the time, it's the gray one. So I'm more than happy to try this one out and um, see what happens. So let's get into putting some rub on these wings. All right, so like I said, use some canola oil as my binder on here. Doesn't take much. It'll also help with the skin. And like I said, we're gonna use this Meat Church Honey Hog. It's not gonna take much. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over. I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. All right, now that we got that done, I'm gonna get these transferred to a wire rack and then we're gonna get it on the char grill of Gravity 980. I have the 980 set at 350 degrees. I'm gonna take these wings up to about 185 degrees and hopefully the problem will take more than about 40, 45 minutes. See you at the smoker. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I'd like to announce that I do have a new uh, ambassadorship with Howler Head Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey right here. As you can see, I've already been making myself at home with it. And you know what? It's nothing like what? Grilling, having a nice beverage in your hand. But as always, remember, do it responsibly. All right, so here we go. Like I said, the pit is at 350. I'm gonna go ahead and get these in here. And we're gonna check back on them in about 20 minutes. Like I said, let's all drink responsibly. All right, these wings have been on here for 20 minutes. Take a look at them. They're looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and give them that first coat of uh, spray butter. I'm gonna flip them, do the same thing to the other side. Yeah, check back on them in another 20 minutes. All right, so we've been on here for another 20 minutes, total of 40. I'm 
gonna go ahead and spray these again. And get them flipped over again. Now what I'm gonna do is let this go for 10 more minutes and I'm gonna come back and check them. So that'd be actually 50 minutes. All right, we're down here 10 more minutes, total of 50. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use this chef's temp uh, thermometer. Now the cool thing I found about this is regardless of how you rotate it, it still shows the number. So let's see how well it works. So we're at 181. This is only at 162. One eighty. One sixty-four. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let these go for another 10 minutes and then I'm gonna sauce them. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and sauce them now and then let them go for the last 10 minutes. Now, I won't be doing all of them. I do have a daughter who, for some reason, does not like spicy food. I don't know where she gets that from, but it surely is not me. So I'm going to leave a few with nothing on it. All right, we'll get this 10 minutes and come back. All right, welcome back. We're done with the cook. Um, it took right about an hour to get everything done. But the recap, what we did was take some chicken wings. We used some canola oil for the binder. That's optional, you don't have to use it, but it will also help with the skin. Then we applied the rub, which we used the Meat Church's uh, Honey Hog perfectly this it's a great rub you should try it if you haven't used it before then we uh put the wings on these char griller 980 at 350 degrees we uh use some spray butter to spritz it every 20 minutes we covered it with the uh sweet baby rays buffalo and after that we let it sit on there about another 10 minutes after we covered it then we took it off, let it rest for about 10 minutes. And now we're right here. We about to see what it's hitting for. So let's check these wings out. So as you can see, it gave it a nice color. I mean, I'm ready to go on and try it. There's no sense of beating around the bush. I'm a flats man. So when it comes to flats, that's where it's at. And let's see how this sauce is. It's not bad. Yeah. Pretty good bite on there. So you can see that skin stays intact. It's not like rubber. Just bite through. True, authentic barbecue style. But if you like it crispy, you know, grill it at a higher temp or do it direct on the actual grill. To get your skin crispy. But I like mine like this. Mmm. I mean, go on and talk about this before I eat all these up. So as y'all know, I like kick on my food. You know, I eat like the Carolina Reapers and all that stuff. So heat wise, not really there for me, but I can taste a little twang to it. Flavor wise, 
Yeah, that's on point. I love the flavor. It did just have more heat, but what I can do next time, now that I know, if I use this again, I have some Carolina Reaper powder. I'll probably add that to it. So the taste plus that heat, that's gonna make this absolute fire right there. Um, I don't know what else to say. That's, it was good, very good. And as far as that chef temp thermometer, yeah, it worked. It did a very good job. The readings were quick. And I also found out the backside of it was a magnet. So it would stick to your uh, metal outside. So that's an even bigger plus to that one as well. But for now, I just want to say links to things I use on my show be down in the description box under my link tree. If there's discounts, when you click on it, it'll apply like discounts to whatever you want. Some of them be having like 20% or, you know, it'll tell you what it is when you get there. But check that out if you want to try to purchase anything that I've used on the show. Um, other than that, thank you for coming through. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and consider subscribing. If you want to, go on and click that bell as well when you finish and give that thumbs up. Also, if you're already subscribed, thank you as always for coming back and watching again. You're like family to me. And until next time, I'll catch y'all on the next cook. Happy football season. Peace.